Hi everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings. That's my website. You can head over there by just clicking up here in the corner or by using the link down below in the YouTube description. That's how you get to my website. Today is Memory Keeping Friday and you are looking at Andrew's album. I haven't shared the kids' album with you guys in quite a few weeks because honestly, I'm really behind on Project Life. I just had, um, I uploaded 200 photos to get printed at the beginning of the week and when we get back from our Newport Beach getaway, I will be diving into Project Life again. So this is Andrew's album. This is actually the album that Stampin' Up! carries. It is the black album. It is a faux leather album, and it has these great corners that are really sturdy, and these do not pop off. Now, on my other albums that I've gotten in the past from We Are Memory Keepers, these tend to pop off, and I have to be really careful because they'll just fly off. And these are really sturdy, and I like that. So it's a beautiful album. This is Andrew's album, and his birthday is coming up. He is going to be four years old, and I cannot believe it. Um, it is crazy to me. So Andrew's album is really, really simple, you guys. He's a boy, and I really don't think he's going to care much about how his album looks. <laughs> And it will probably be a little bit more fancy once he starts school and there's more for me to do. So what I did for this year, the current year that we're in, is I just used the Midnight Core Kit by Becky Higgins. And I used Midnight Core um, Kit, the dividers that coordinate with that kit. The Midnight Core Kit is one of my favorite kits. I love it. Um, I need to pick up an extra, another kit because I'm running out of cards for it. But it's just black and white and gray and yellow. And so you can see that my kids' album all start the month of their birthday. So this album starts on October of 2014. So this is November. This is December. I still have to go back and do the stamping on the title cards up here. None of those are stamped, but a lot of the journaling is already done and the photos are already in. So this is January, and this is an insert in the middle of January. So January is here and here, and then this is an insert. And this is um, right here, he was sick. So this is him taking some medicine, and it was so funny when he would take it. And then this is when he got his new bed. I believe I did a video on this because this is Project Life by Stampin' Up! product. If I did, I'll insert a card right here so you guys can watch this video. So there's February. Here's March. There's a few things. As you can see, his album's really simple because he's not in school. I don't really have anything that I'm inserting or keeping for him. Um, this was a trip to the ER, and I kept this, and I just inserted that. And then here's April. May. That's where the journaling ends. The journaling ends in June because it was probably back in May I was doing all the journaling. So here's June, July, and then I don't have photos because I just got them printed for August or September. But then what I wanted to show you guys is here is the divider for the next year. So I'll put some paper in here and I'll create a tab. I've done that and shown that in a video. If I can find it, it'll be in a card right here. I can't promise I'll be able to find that video, but if I can, I'll link it right here. So I'll put designer paper here. I'll do another title page for this year. And then what I did is I took Kathy's um, I'll put her name right up here because I can never pronounce her last name. She's one of my favorite, favorite designers. She is more into digital scrapbooking. She is take the crap out of scrapbooking. I love her website. I love her designs. Everything about her I love. I just adore her. I adore her approach, uh, her very candid approach to memory keeping. Sorry, my husband is cleaning out the trash can outside with Andrew. So I'm going to hurry through this. So what I did is I just took her value kits. I got two of her value kits. Uh, I had one already when it first came out. And then when Becky Higgins had her back to school sale, I picked up another one. And you can see I have a ton of 4x6 cards left over. Not so many 3x4 cards left over but a ton of four by six So cards. what I did is I just did the whole year in these cards because I thought that they would be great for a little boy. Like I thought that they were the perfect 
colors and designs for a little boy album. And so you can see here's October, November, December, January, February, March, April. I probably shouldn't be going so fast. There'll be photos on my website, you guys, in case you're wanting to see all the different layouts. May, June, July, August. See the brown? Like, it's so perfect for a little boy. September, and then here's uh, October is right here. I don't have a divider. And then here's November. And I'll probably get a good three years in his album. The girls' album, I tend to only get two years because I add a lot of their school projects and different things that they're doing. So I can only get about two years, but I'm sure I'll be able to get three years in here since it's just really photos and um, maybe not three years. I don't know. Here, we'll have to see. But that's still, I mean, a pretty good amount of space. So we'll see. Hopefully three years would be perfect. So anyways, I wanted to share with you guys Andrew's album and doing that. That's how I set up in a year for an an album for an entire year in advance and it makes it really easy uh, to do that. There'll be photos of each of these spreads over on my website. Again, you can get to the coordinating blog post by just clicking up here or clicking down below and then you can see how I've laid this out. And I really recommend this kit. It's great. I've used it in our family album as well, um, but I think it's going to be perfect for Andrew's album for next year. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will be back next week and hopefully I will have all my regular posts up for you guys and we'll get back to normal stuff. It's been crazy here between the fire um, that uh, we dealt with and then uh, getting ready to go to Newport Beach with my husband and family coming in. It has just been crazy. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to the very end of my video. I would really love you guys to head over to my website and check out a few photos I have of our Newport Beach vacation and how that's happening. And then if you would like to see a few of my other videos, I have a scrapbooking project life video. It is the wedding series that I am working on. Or I have a snowman shaker card that I did a few weeks back. It was the very first shaker card I did and it turned out pretty cute with the two little snowmen. So thank you guys so much. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and I will be back next week. Thanks guys. Have a great day.